Hi, everybody. Uh, we've got something special for you this evening. We have... Let me get my mic out a little bit closer here. Um, we have a significant hardware uh, update to tell you about. So I'm going to go ahead and free the webcam and show you. So here in the studio, we have an Amiga 500. And this thing has been the bane of our existence, getting a reliable video signal out of it. Uh, we were able to output a signal to a LCD monitor, but it required a separate circuit board with a separate power supply, just a whole mess of wires. There had to be a better way. Now, this is, again is the Amiga 500 with the AT power supply that's currently in that shoebox. There's a little switch on top of it that I pressed to actually power on the Amiga. Um, but again, getting video output out of this thing was uh, not something that we could do because of the way that it, it's, it doesn't have a built-in scan doubler like the later Amigas did. So, enter Jason Warns. Uh, Jason is a um, web de developer for everythingamiga.com, frequent site contributor, all-around great guy. He built us, from scratch, an S-Video app. And the way this works is that... Um, You've got the RGB coming out of the back of the Amiga into this box that he's built, the black box. And then that runs into S-Video here, which runs into the capture card into my PC. So, um, I will replace the webcam and we'll fire this up and see, see if it works. So, um, I chose a special game for this event. Uh, this is my definitely store-bought copy of Lotus's Free Turbo. And we're going to pop this into the Amiga. And see what happens. Right, getting disk drive sound, that's a good thing. There it is. Now, of course, this is a PAL game, so the bottom of the screen is going to be cut off. But, hey, we have the ability to output the Amiga 500 directly into a capture card. And that's pretty freaking sweet. So, um, let's see if we can start a game here. Let's see how we do. All right. Um, okay, I actually don't know what to do from this point. Um, so instead of running the game, uh, I'll probably just choose another game, a possibly working game. Um, but hey, the capture card works. That's all that's important. So. Hopefully, we'll be back with lots more Amiga games running on real Amiga hardware. Until then, adios. Thanks, Jason.